Now here's uh, Alan, and uh, he's going to relate tales of a misspent youth in arcades. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I didn't, actually? Well, sometimes I wish I did. Today I'm joined by one Irish dad who found a way to reconnect with his teenage son by building him a retro mini arcade machine. Now, he's since turned this love of video games into a, thri Oops. <laughs> into a thriving business and now makes bespoke arcade machines for celebrity clients such as Conor McGregor and Shaun of the Dead actor Nick Frost. Aidan Deering, good morning to you. Good morning to you. I mean, incredible. So this Thank was you. all about just reconnecting with your son because he was on the iPad doing stuff and you were going, look, we need to yeah, do well, stuff together. Yeah, well, what happened was he was constantly on the iPad and I was a single parent. And these online devices now, um, he was constantly on. I didn't have a fragmented relationship with him as well. So I decided to kind of touch base from go down to his level. And I was always telling him about the old, old games. Old, like the old, old arcade machines, yeah. yeah. And he was always saying, ah, stop that. You know, we never played them, but he heard about them. So I decided to, every night for about six months, stay up and build a machine. But you see, this is easy. Like, you're saying, I decided to stay up. I yeah, wouldn't have a clue how to even start doing this. So have you any background in this, then? I don't. I've got background in designing, but not, on, in, not but in electrics. But how did you then start building them? It was YouTube and Google. I really? really went through everything, found out what the best way to get the machine, what system goes into the machine. So what happened, it was a surprise build. So I, and I it showed, worked. And it worked. And it worked. But I showed Sean for the first time and we played Mortal Kombat. And because the competitiveness, we kind of bonded, bonded re-bonded. Re -bonded. And since then, I could see there was a connection through parents and kids where um, the online devices now and the games now, like all the games, like they want you to be online yeah. all the time. It disconnected from reality. But now you're same. playing together yes. doing this. Let's have yes. a look at some of them. The Pac-Man here. So how long would it take you to build something like this? Um, this would actually take three weeks. Okay. It's got a full vinyl wrap as well. Um, Samsung monitor. So, it's so really you're turning this into best. a business now. This is like you're selling these to clients. Clients. Yeah, so I people customise, ask for yeah. something like that. Yes, like, they do. They like, do because I'm, of the quality of the systems. But we actually also rent as well for corporate events. Oh, of for course. team building, it's very good. Yeah. Um, you know, different employers, employees. The connection as Look well. at the crystals in this. Now, this is going to a prince, is it? Yes, uh, prince and brain. Bahrain. Bahrain is um, in a couple of weeks' time. I'll be going to give them this in London. So the Prince of Bahrain, you're going to. This is it. He. It, they asked for this to be made specially. Yes. How yes. many? How many Sarasi crystals are in it's, this? It's over ten thousand. Wow. And how um, long did that take you to do? Well, actually, um, I had to get a hand with this. Oh, it yeah. took about two or three weeks in total to do. And they're all functional, obviously. We're going they're to play the Ireland AM one in a minute. I just want all, to. They're all functional uh, completely, and all the old school joystick and buttons went into it, the Sandway. So it's it's really like in um, the sound system as well. It's really hard. And what about grade. this one here? This one is for a Hollywood actor, and his name is Benedict Wong. He's out of the Avengers, Doctor Strange. All oh, right. And his new series is called Deadly Classes, and he wanted this. So there's other different So are people clients. seeing you online and going, God, I remember those games and I want to do it? Yes, through social media. Yeah. Um, with Conor McGregor let's, really let's... give me a hand oh, with yeah, that Connor. as well. Oh, yeah, Conor. So what did you build for Conor? Um, I built a machine. It was a, these are actually called desktop machines. Yes. So I built them for him. It was a surprise build as well. But when he seen it, he fell in love with it. And, and because he put, he put 10 pictures up on his social media, so other than other celebrities seeing people that. People start wanting and that. And people, like I gave one to Versatile as well, the Irish uh, rap band as yeah. well. So there is a lot of clientele through the celebrities, but it's really because of the quality of the machines. Yeah, they're you very, they're really well done. Let's, uh, we have an Ireland AM retro arcade. We have our very own Ireland AM. We can put the sound up and actually play this. So, okay. so it, it's this really is, like being in, isn't it? it is, this so, is actually, this is actually a classic game called Shinobi. Yeah. And just stand at the side because you block the cameras. Yeah, it's it? actually a two-player system. So Most games are two-player Where do we start? System. So we oh, just yeah, player, press one, player one. Yeah. And we just speed up. And it's actually, this is, can I just... Yeah. So it's actually kind of... <laughs> yeah. So 
Well, so this is the true. old game where people would spend hours yeah. in arcades doing this, and you can do have this at home and do it. Yeah, you can have it in your man cave, but it's really to in bring your man back cave. In your man, man cave. cave. <laughs> it's really just to bring retro back and have the connection as well with, yeah. with like um, parents and kids. Yeah. Like I gave a machine as well to a woman and a kid had uh, autism, and she came back and says that the autistic kid absolutely loved, loved the machine it. from the lights to the sound. sound and the thing, yeah. And, the, and mostly the games that the kids oh, are playing now there. are 2D, 2D games on their, on their iPads. Okay. And these are all 2D games. How much? How much are they? A thousand euro. So they start at a thousand euro. This one, customised, would cost around 1,300 euro. But like, you get a lot for your book, as in 230 watt LG speakers, a banging amplifier system, Soundway joystick, Soundway buttons. And but I suppose like, if you're getting these really super duper iPads, you're spending a lot of money on it. And look at this that you can have in your house and to play with it. It's, it is incredible. Yeah, it is, a it's, it's such a novelty thing. Yeah. And as I say, you do go around the country as well and you rent them out. Yes. And, and, and people can find you on your Facebook and different places yes. like that. Um, we, on our website as well, miniarcadesystems.com. But we do functions for weddings. Communions, confirmations. Um, even I could see loads of people at a wedding out, not at the reception, but out of there all night <laughs> for a playing bit of along, school, playing for along. A bit of Listen, thank you so much for coming in and showing us that. That is absolutely terrific. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming in. Now, up next, Copperface Jacks the Musical. We'll be chatting to Paul Howard about how he's given Ireland's most famous nightclub the West Side Story twist. We'll see in a few. Oops.